Hello everyone, T-Man978 here. Right now I'm reviewing Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Legends Class Huffer. And I'm also going to do something different. I'm just going to do this straight through, no editing, because I don't feel like it. Anywho, and he's pretty simple. Let's show off what came with him. He came with this collector's card. He's looking like he's about to start yelling and fussing about something. Yay, get off my lawn. Same image on his box work right here. And these cards right here are pretty thick. On the back, you see he is seven steps. And his bio, you can count on this engineer to always get the job done. And always find something to complain about. Right. He also came with instructions, but boring. Anyway, here's Huffer. He has a nice new head sculpt. Yes, there we go. In the back of this head sculpt, there's a hole for his weapon and vehicle mode, but ignore that. He looks good. I've been debating on whether I should... Leave his chest like this. I'll bring it open. His joints are way more tight than Optimus and Nemesis Prime so far. But if you open that, you can see that Autobot logo. But that's a more Optimus type thing. So I think I'm probably going to leave it shut. But he comes with this gun, as you can see. Just like Optimus. But, um... With, this is my second Combiner's, Combiner Wars Legends class, and they haven't cheaped out on the paintwork. Like, that's full of silver paint. The arms are fully painted. The chest is painted. Silver down here. Silver right there. You saw silver on the Autobot logo right there, and red. Silver on the face. Nice blue paint right there. And you might be wondering why Metroplex is back there. Are you going to tell him you can't be back there? Anyway. But they put red Autobot logos on both arms right there. This back can be up like that. I kind of put it up because he used to have a bucket over his head. But if you want to get waist articulation, you got to bring that down. His head rotates 360. It can look down a little bit due to transformation. Not really up. 360 there. These shoulders can go out like that. If you move this panel, his arms can go out to the side. The panel can pop off. And we can pop back on. Luckily, unlike real G1 toys. Ball joint elbow that can swivel. Ball joint hips go out like that. Go forward like that. Go back like that. Ball joint knees that can swivel around. And nothing at the ankle. I really like him. I, I didn't really care about this figure, but I was got it on a discount and I think he's really cool. Transformation. Put these legs together. Bring this panel down. Rotate the body. Put the panel up right there. Push the head in. Pull these back. Slide the hands forward. It's very reminiscent of G1 Optimus. Get in there. Get in there. Guess we gotta get the hand around this little groove in there. Bend the waist forward. And bam, he's a truck. Okay, and he rolls very nicely, as you can see here. And the weapon can store up there and just look silly. Anywho, you probably own this mold already. If you don't, start now because this is a cool figure. 
I really like them. And maybe I'll do it another video. But you can kind of combine him with Ultra Prime. The Voyager class Combiner Wars Optimus that's out. You may have seen my other video where I combined a bunch of Elite Legends class figures to him. But I'm not going to do that here. I might do it in the future. I found Bumblebee and Cosmos. I forgot all about Cosmos. I didn't combine him. But anywho, this has been my review of Combiner Wars Huffer. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, subscribe. Until next time, T-Man 978 out of here.